Zoonotic disease. Rabies virus in dogs. The rabid dog. Understanding rabies in dogs. This presentation is based in the writings of Casey Blizzard, a certified veterinary technician from River City Veterinary Hospital. For more information visit todaysveterinarynurse.com. Vaccinating dogs against rabies takes on special importance because rabies is a zoonotic disease. A zoonotic disease is an infectious condition that can spread from animals to humans. Rabies is almost always fatal. Fortunately, most veterinary professionals will never see a companion animal infected with rabies because the infection rate among domestic animals is low. In the United States of North America in 2018, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 63 dogs and 241 cats were reportedly positive for rabies. However, among wild reservoir animals like for example bats, raccoons, skunks, and foxes, levels of the virus remains high. Although rabies continues to be a danger to people around the world, rabies in the United States of North America is controlled through vaccination of pets. The rabies virus causes acute encephalitis that can affect any mammal. The virus causes sudden and progressive brain and spinal cord inflammation. The virus is primarily spread by contact with the saliva or more rarely nervous tissue from an infected animal. It is usually transmitted by bites when saliva from the infected animal comes in contact with broken skin or mucous membranes like for example the eyes, nose and mouth. The infection with the rabies virus in dogs progresses in three phases. The prodromal phase the excitative phase, and the paralytic or dumb phase. The prodromal phase is the initial phase that lasts two to three days and can cause a typically friendly dog to isolate itself and or become irritable. The dog may or may not become febrile. The excitative phase, also called the furious stage, lasts four to four days. During this phase, the dog may be hyperreactive and may bite at anything near it. An inability to swallow can cause saliva to foam at the mouth. During the dumb phase, progressive paralysis will limit the dog's ability to move, saliva often drips continually out of the mouth. Eventually, the dog will become completely paralyzed and comatose and will die. For dogs exposed to the rabies virus, there is no treatment for clinical disease. The death rate approaches 100%. If an unvaccinated dog has been exposed to the rabies virus, the recommended action is immediate euthanasia. Another option is strict quarantine and isolation for 180 days. If healthy, the dog should be vaccinated one month before release from quarantine. If a vaccinated dog has been exposed to the rabies virus, it should be revaccinated immediately and quarantined for 45 days. In the United States of North America, some municipalities can have a variation to this recommendation and a shortened quarantine period. You should contact the local animal control office or health department for more information. Remember that the best way to protect your family and community against the rabies virus is by keeping your pets vaccinated. Please contact your local animal hospital for more information about rabies in dogs. The rabies virus can produce encephalitis in dogs and other mammals. The virus causes brain and spinal cord inflammation in dogs. The rabies virus produces three stages of infection in dogs which are the postromal phase, the excitative phase and the paralytic or dumb phase. There is no treatment for the rabies virus infection in dogs. Non-vaccinated dogs that are exposed to the rabies virus need to be euthanized or quarantined for a long period of time. Vaccinated dogs exposed to the virus need to be revaccinated immediately. Zoonotic disease. Rabies virus in dogs. The rabid dog. Understanding rabies in dogs. <laughs>